plop this in. Oh man. Isn't it supposed to shoot off? Just pull it off because it, it lined up. Okay. You know what? That actually came out good. It's on there. I see where it has to go. Destination holes right here, right now. There we go. Now we do this. Ready guys? Oh, oh diggity dog. Press the button. Okay. Green light. Asus. There it is. Get wrecked. Yeah, baby! Look at the LED strip. All right, so what you guys just saw were some snippets from my live stream on Twitch when I actually built my PC. If you haven't followed me there yet, my link is down below. I now do pin my setup on Twitch and things like that, like gaming stuff. So make sure you're following me there so you know when I'm live. But uh, this is not going to be part of the series. This is just going to be an update on how the PC is doing, uh, what's up with my setup, and a couple other cool things I want to show you. So let's uh, let's do it. So here is my setup after doing some work today. Um, here is the PC, it's looking great. So everything is really neat uh, as far as the Signum, but whatever's going into the PC is not yet cable managed, which is why it's hanging. I could have easily shoved it into the Signum at least, but I'm not doing that. The reason why I'm not doing that is because I'm replacing this and this, and also getting a mouse mat thanks to Corsair. Once I get those in, I'm gonna be able to actually cable manage. Now, the other thing I'm waiting for is a new cable for this display because I actually had one, it was defective, so. I ordered a nicer one, a longer one uh, from Amazon, which should be here tomorrow. But there's Premiere up right now editing this actual video. I exported my last video, which was five minutes long, uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second, and it actually exported in about five minutes, which is insane, and I'm super happy with that. Uh, I played CSGO so far. I don't have GTA 5 or DayZ or H1Z1. I really want it though so bad so if anyone wants to gift it to me eh, eh, no okay <laughs> um but I, I that's all i played so far that obviously played amazing and i really like the computer so far and by the way everyone has been asking why did you get an r9 290x and not you know a 980 not a titan blah 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 guys this is a sponsored build for the most part so if a company was able to provide it i'm more than happy to take it and use it in my build so that's the end of that story i also wanted to show you guys this company called das wise actually sent out some stuff for me to check out and uh, this is a tempered glass screen protector which seems to be the new thing that everybody's using so if you look here they sent me three of those and then they also sent me some cases uh, the only problem is it's for the iPhone 6 plus and only my brother has one of those currently I have the iPhone 6 so uh, yeah so I'm gonna try it on his phone, but I wanna ask you guys, have you tried like a, a tempered glass screen protector yet? I've actually heard really good stories that like if you drop your phone and crack it, most of the time it's actually the, the screen protector that cracks and not your actual phone screen. So let me know if you guys have used it because I'm a little interested in this, but we're gonna go check it out on my brother's, so. All right, so I just installed the screen protector on my brother's phone. Uh, the only problem would be that it's a white front and uh, not a black one, and the phone's black, so it's okay. It's not my phone. Um, but I have to say, it's actually really easy to do. If you look here, th those are all the installation things, and it gives you like the little cloth. Bada bing, bada boom. There's no bubbles at all. That's what I like about these kinds of screen protectors is with the other ones, you get bubbles galore. But I did this bada bing, bada boom, and it was done. Plus, they also gave uh, me some cases. Like you can see, this is the same one in gold, which would look great on my phone if I had the six plus. Uh, so that's the, the gold one. And here's the space gray. I think that looks really sick. So yeah, check them out. Das Wise. I'm actually going to... Uh, Link them down below if you want to check them out. Thank you for sending this out. I thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to show you guys. Uh, so yeah, another question that I got is how are the HyperX's, the boxes right there, uh, since I used them yesterday when I was streaming on Twitch. Well, I have to say, so far, they're actually insanely comfortable. They're really lightweight and the cushions are really nice and it comes with replacement ones, which is really good. Um, now, the microphone quality seems to actually be pretty decent for what it is. But as far as sound quality, I have to go back and listen again. Um, I wasn't really paying attention because I was streaming, trying to get the audio levels right, blah, 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 that I didn't really think about how it actually sounded. So for those of you that were wondering, I will get back to you on that. 
So the last thing I'm going to answer in this video is do I have a GTA 5 group? No, I do not because uh, I don't have it yet. So hopefully within the next month or two or something like that, I could get my hands on GTA 5. Um, but I did make a Steam group. I will link it down below and you can join. That way we're somewhat connected and we can start playing some games soon. But I really want to get my hands on GTA 5 because that's just uh, the epicness. It, it awaits. I'm going to end this pin mat setup here, uh, but I will have another one out hopefully within the week, so get excited for that. If you guys have any other questions you want me to answer in the next one, let me know that way. Uh, I have more to talk about, and yeah, so there you go. I'm super excited to get the cable tomorrow for the other monitor. I'm super excited to get the peripherals from Corsair, and finally, you know, cable manage and get this figured out. And I guess the final question is, should I put a monitor here? Um, let me know. And with that said, if you guys got this far into the video, go ahead and write... Uh, bada bing bada boom flamingo. And with that said, guys, I'll catch you on the Flippity Flop.